Greetings, foolish mortals, and welcome to another exciting episode of Prop House. On this episode, we'll be showing you how to make Jason Voorhees' costume from Friday the 13th. For this build, we'll be using several components, among which are a green button-up shirt for the jacket, a dark blue undershirt, a pair of old jeans, and a hockey mask. In our case, the hockey mask was 3D printed, but you could also purchase a cheap alternative from a local Halloween store. For Jason's weapon, we'll be using this foam Nerf machete. As always, we'll start off by sanding down the mask smooth, spraying it with this primer, and then sanding it again. And while sanding, don't forget, safety first. Priming sanding now complete, we'll move on to applying the main paint coat. Taking the piece outside, we'll apply some white spray paint in nice even coats. Be sure not to spray it too closely in order to avoid any bubbling or runoff from the paint. While we wait for that to dry, the next step will be to weather and stain the clothes. This should help to make them look a little bit more worn. In order to do this, we're going to be soaking them in a bucket of tea. You could also use coffee for this process or a number of other stains and dyes. Certain areas of clothing tend to become more dirty than others, such as the sleeves. Consider dipping these in a couple extra times. Now that the mask is dry, the next step will be to paint the three red triangles. In order to do this, we're going to tape off the areas for the triangles and apply a few coats of red paint. Once this is dry, we will remove the tape and move on to staining the mask. In order to stain the mask, we're going to be using a medium darkness wood stain, and we'll be applying it sporadically across the mask with a paper towel. To finish off the mask, we'll be gluing on this elastic strap to act as a headband. Finally, to finish off the clothing items, we're going to be putting some holes and tears in the shirts. In order to do this, we'll be using this X-Acto knife. Be careful while using the knife to ensure you're only cutting the shirt and not yourself. 